right, we are a sport-loving nation, and that's what we do over the weekends. We follow our favorite sport. Omo especially advocates children enjoying sports, especially when they get messy. Well, to try and sort out all those stains, hey, man, I want to share my own stories, too. But with us in studio, we have Justin Kemp. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I have to say this because I'm extremely jealous. A two-month-old baby... She's yeah. brand new. Brand new, yeah. So you've um, been up all day, all morning. Yeah, no, that's not an early call for me. I've been <laughs> awake. So, um, yeah, no, it's been very blessed for another little girl. So, going well. Wow, well, congratulations from all of us here at Express. Thank so you that very is much. truly feel good. Thank you. How did you get into sport? Um, yeah, it's a pretty easy one. I, was, I grew up in a very sporty family um, okay. down in a small town called Queenstown in the Eastern Cape. Um, my mom and dad were heavily involved in sport. My, my father played a lot of cricket, and my, and my grandfather and my grand, other grandfathers played rugby. So, um, it was always in our blood um, going down to the, you know, the sports over the weekend. So I think that's probably where I, I got caught. I, I always look at the cricketers when I'm on the golf course because they, they're the ones with the, with the single-digit handicaps, you know. <laughs> they play it so well. What other sport did you play as a kid? Oh, jeez, you know, going to Queen's College in the Eastern Cape, uh, sport was our life, really. Mm. Um, I played everything, tennis, hockey, rugby. Rugby was, was my other, you know, passion when I was uh, near the end of my school career, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, you know. It would have been... Uh, Something I could have actually gone into, but um, yeah, cricket is always my number one. I was always amazed to hear your rugby story because I'm thinking, you with rugby, you know, and it's interesting that you didn't pursue that. But I, I remember being on the hockey field myself, and I always tell the story of how I would introduce myself to the other team uh, as Ilana, but my actual team called me Harmin. <laughs> but I mean, I remember all the dirty days, like getting home, and my mom would have to clean that poor skirt. I mean, it was a black skirt that we wore, but it would be gray at the end of the day because we needed to clean it so much, being in all that mud. What did you enjoy most about your Sport. Yeah, look, I mean, just growing up, you know, just the camaraderie and being with other guys and, and you know, and, and when you win, you know, that, that for me is always uh, the best part. I think my teammates uh, will, will tell you that uh, I love winning more than anything. Um, yeah. Just being sitting in the change room and, and, and thinking about what's just happened. There you are, um, look. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah, I mean, sport's been fantastic to me, you know. Mm. It's always great to have the support of our folks. And I mean, I had my folks next to my courses as well. What did your parents say about you doing well? Yeah, look, the one thing they never did was put me under pressure. They obviously, mm. you know, enjoyed it when I did well. Yeah. Um, they, were, they were brilliant for me. They really, you know, they looked, uh, the, the, I, I never wanted for anything uh, in my sporting career when I was a youngster. Um, you know, it was up to, completely up to them that I, I've got to where I've got to now. Mm. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, that's only sort of advice that I could give, you know, young parents uh, with their kids is, you know, just let them play and don't put much pressure on them. I like the fact that you say that, no pressure. If you just joined in, uh, Justin Kemp in our studio on our Feel Good Breakfast show. Uh, sport taught you other stuff too. It definitely did. You guys are a lot of, well, you have influence. And so we want you to share a message. You have kids yourself. What would you want to say to mothers and I guess other kids as well that wants to pursue sport as a career? Yeah, as I said, look, it's taught me a lot, you know, and it's given me a lot, which I'm uh, very happy and, and lucky with. Um, you know, humility is the one thing that it has taught me, cricket. Wow. Um, I think it's the one sport that, that really cuts you down when you get a little bit ahead of yourself. I think you see it, you know, with, with a lot of cricketers and, and pro sportsmen, you know, when they get a little bit of ahead of themselves, sport is an amazing way of cutting you down. And uh, obviously being 36 now, I've been around for 18, 19 years in this uh, professional sport, it's, it's taught me um, not to get ahead of yourself and, and mm. just make sure you keep your feet on the ground. And I think that's probably the biggest life lesson I've learned. Wow. Well, you're the first sportsman I've ever met that said sport keeps you grounded. For you know, sure. it's one way of thinking about it. Justin, thank you so much for coming. Pleasure. Thank you good for luck. having me. Good luck. So, good luck with the feeding as well. We just <laughs> talked about his kids thank as well. Thanks so much for coming to visit. Just shows you sport is amazing and we bring amazing stuff to our studio. Well, speaking of amazing, all the amazing Graham is on the other side. What do you have, Gray Gray?